<laughs> okay, you see, you see, uh, <laughs> that is a good question. You see, when people don't understand issues, that's the that's the way they react. You see, I even hear even the media, as I they saying partisan politics, this partisan, this partisan. You know, I mean, in the first those people who are celebrating, I saw it in uh, social media, NPP, they were dancing in Brikama in their bureau. This is not, this is a measure brought by President Adam Abaro. It is their president who brought it to the National Assembly. It is their government that brought it to the National Assembly. Or at least the government that NPP supports. It is the government that brought this measure to the National Assembly. So when it failed, it is their government that has failed. It's not UDP. UDP was helping the president in realizing what he wants. Because whether he meant it or whether he was pretending, but yet the, his, his government presented a bill to say, look, I want the National Assembly to approve this. And UDP said, yes, let us approve it. And people who say, who supposedly are his supporters, say, no, we are not going to support it. So they are the people who have not only betrayed the Gambian, but have also betrayed the Adama. They should have gone there to support the bill. If we had taken the position that we are against it, then we would say this is partisan. Then, you know, you said that there's an element of politics in it. But those people, they don't understand. And uh, I hope that the leadership of the uh, NPP will take time to educate their people on implications of legislative processes. They should learn that when a bill is presented in the National Assembly by the government, it is the go if it's accepted, it is successful for the government. If it is rejected, it is a failure and a defeat for the government. That is why I said, you know, in 1966 or 67, when Sir Dauda attempted to change Gambia's status from a dominion to a republican state and uh, uh, presented the matter, it went through the National Assembly, but it failed at the referendum. He resigned and sought first mandate. That is what should happen if, if they have any qualms, if they have any conscience, knowing that this is a major policy. It fails anywhere. When the, when the government's major fail, fails in their major policy, they resign. Can't you see Theresa May? When the EU Brexit thing, when it failed, a major policy is resigned. That is what decent leaders of government do. That is what they do. So I would have expected Adama, when, when his people rejected his name, he said, look, my people, you have disappointed me. I'm resigning. And then seek a fresh mandate. This National Develop this uh, uh, Constitutional Review Commission, at every moment, the president talks about it. And it's the centerpiece in our national development plan. This is why when we went to Brussels, this is one of the reasons why the International Committee stood by us. That we are going to craft a constitution that will do away with dictatorship, that will do away with self-perpetuating rule. That is what that is the reason. But now, if, you, if your own people do not support that, and people, other people who do not understand say this is partisan, this is not partisan, you need to in support of it. So where is the other people, maybe they also do not understand the implications of their action, that whatever they were doing, they were fighting against Adam Abaro. Because it's Adam Abaro's measure. It's not a UDP measure. So those two people can dance, let them continue to dance, and that will continue to expose their ignorance. And I heard someone in the radio today, <laughs> again, you know, some propagandists, but it's called this, I, I, I don't want to be condescending, but these ill-educated people who do not know the consequences of certain legislative processes, this is how they end up reacting. So I'm happy that there are people are really rejoicing for Adama's failure. I'm happy that they are rejoicing at that. <laughs>